Hi everybody, I am going to be doing a wig review on Upstage by Raquel Welch. I will be going to get a haircut today and I'm going to be doing my own hair coloring and I'm going to post that video later so check that out. My hair has really grown out a lot and so I'm going to go get it cut and then my roots have grown out a ton too so I'll be doing my roots and doing new coloring. But for this video, this is Upstage. And I don't know what color I have Upstage in, but it is a medium brown with some nice blonde highlights. In person, it can come across a little bit um, auburn, kind of like a little reddish. But in this lighting, it's really coming out more medium brown with blonde highlights. Um, I'm gonna be selling this. It is super cute. I've worn it a few times, but it's in excellent condition. It has a really nice lace front, which I'll show you when I put it on. The top portion here can be parted anywhere, so it really looks like scalp. And then of course it has a hand-tied cap, which I think the hand-tied caps are nice and stretchy. I have a bigger head and this fits me. And um, I think that hand tied is just, it's cooler. You can get air through it. They're so comfy. If you don't have any hair at all, it feels really good. Um, so let's see, what can I tell you? I'm gonna be selling it really cheap. Um, usually sell it on one of the Facebook groups, but of course, if you're interested, you can always message me. Um, let's see, I'm gonna wash it and air dry it. And I don't have a box, but whoever buys it, I'll be sending it in just like a plastic mailing envelope. All right, so let me just pop this on. Okay, so as I'm putting this on, it's definitely large cap. Um, it feels like I have a big head and it's loose on me, so. Um, so that would be good for those of you guys who have a larger noggin. Oh, uh, let's see. Let me feel the back. And I don't have the Velcro adjusters cinched all the way to the smallest setting. So keep that in mind too. That could be one of the, um, things is that it needs to be cinched a little smaller. So let's see. All right, so I'm gonna get it pushed back to the edge of my hairline. So this like lace front here, it wants to pop up on me. Um, doesn't really wanna lay flat there. All right, so let's get this parted so that it's cute. Let's see. Let's part it over here. Just doing like some loose brushing. So one thing about this wig is it definitely has like a little bit of a bang that if you wanted to keep, you could just like do some snips so that you had some little bang pieces here. Cause see how it naturally just wants to have a bang. And if you did have bangs, it would be really cute because you don't have to worry about that lace front there. So let's see, I'm just gonna sweep these to the side for a second. Doing a little swoop. So like I said, the top really looks like scalp. And the lace front I think looks really good. It just doesn't want to lay flat. So if you put some glue here to kind of lay it down, then you wouldn't really have to worry about disguising it so much. Or like I said, just trim some of these little bangs down. Okay, so as you can see, the um, cut like the color of it, it's not shiny at all. I feel like it's more like dry. Um, so let me do a little turn. Okay. 
Okay, and then let's see if we can change the parting. See if it wants to go this way. So this is a synthetic wig. You have to be really careful when you brush these fibers because if you are rough, then they kind of like coil up and kink up. Um, so as you can see, I'm just literally like super carefully brushing. Um, and look how good this looks parted over here. So first of all, you've got like the part line, which looks so good. Yes, you can see the lace front raising up right here, but literally a couple dabs of glue would just keep that right down. And then this side, the bang wants to swoop nicely over here. Like the highlights look really good. Let me kind of show you where my ear tabs are so you can see my hair. Um, but yeah, the ear tab is right there and then right behind my ear. Um, if, if I was going to wear this, obviously I'd have to put like some brown eyeshadow or something over my blonde hair because if the wind blows, that's going to show. Um, okay. Super short video, but like I said, upstage is a winner. I have had upstage in a few different colors and, um, it's just a great wig. It's kind of like an elongated bob where if like I have a really short neck, so it's obviously like hitting the top of my shoulders, but if you had a longer skinnier neck, then this would definitely be like a, a, a bob, a, a natural classic bob. Um, you can also trim, um, cause see sometimes where it hits, like it wants to flip outward. So you could also trim like an inch off the bottom if you wanted it to be a classic bob length. Um, so yeah, I guess that's, uh, that's my review. Short, cute, gonna sell it cheap. Make sure to subscribe so you see I'm gonna be selling off a lot of my wigs because I just don't wear them anymore. So subscribe, bye.